lot of times this is just feel, but legitimately, we started from the inside out, and it started with the UX right in the center, that being UE. So we started with that. You can see how the kinetic warmth, that was the idea that kind of underpinned all of the, uh, the aesthetic and the interactions with the car. It kind of works in that point. So the interior works its way out of the, the space, these two kind of overlapping uh, forms, we call it like the bond in the center, and it's holding UE's face. Does that make sense? So you get in the car, you touch, you see the face, and in front, and right down at your hand, that's the hand. You touch that, and essentially that would wake up and shoot its life force, and Yui would come to life, and you see it actually like, like when we meet, you blink and you see each other, same kind of thing. So that spills out, you see it kind of comes to the doors, and there's not like a, a delineation that says this is exterior, this is interior. There's just a piece of glass that just kind of separates it. Do you see it? It just kind of breaks through here and then just spills into the rear wheel well here. Rear wheel floor. Planting itself to the ground. You see this great kind of uh, fractalized glass pattern that kind of works its way back. Again, it spills into the tail lamp. The tail lamp, that was like I planned it that way. That was fantastic. So the tail lamp is a done in gold. We're using these kind of more ancient materials. We're showing them in very kind of high tech patterns and high tech applications. And uh, the lamp lights up. You see the gold, and then it turns into this red. It almost looks like an ember. So Ian is fond of calling it like the comet. It's a great way to kind of describe it. But <clears throat> you work your way around here, and you can see the X pattern that crosses over the top of the vehicle. It provides an awesome view of basically the outside world when you're inside it, that it, it, you don't really feel closed in. Again, you have this glass on the side of the vehicle, which increases your sense of speed during the, while you're driving, and then this great view of the world around you for the open top. <clears throat> you swing around here, you have the scissor doors, great access in and out of the vehicle. Again, provides this massive aperture for people to get in and out. Again, it's all about basically like the customer and how you're able to interact with the vehicle and your usage of it. Let's not fall in the hole here. That would totally suck. <laughs> so right here in the front, and right now you can see there's, when the vehicle is kind of in this down state, there's no, there's no headlights, but this kind of one singular sculpture the service is kind of coming over the edge here, and again, the gold motif kind of re-emphasized uh, re here in the corners. The headlamps just appear, you know, seemingly out of nowhere. Just as if on the rear of the vehicle you saw the screen during the demonstration. The screens are meant to be discreet and just appear when you need them. Otherwise, they just become, you know, part of the sculpture, this kind of artistic shape. And again, the door provides the same type of thing here, the same treatment. You actually have a screen again embedded. It's also here in the paint as well, and that provides uh, basically a greeting when you come up to the vehicle. So UE immediately starts to communicate with you. It knows you're coming and you know, lets you know, or lets you know, hey, or what if some, there's some danger behind you? Is a way to conceptualize it as well. It basically, allow you to, to know things that are happening around you. Is it voice recognition yes. for that? So it can identify any other any person in the family. Right. Exactly. Ideally. Yeah.